All right, what we're gonna do here, guys, um, we are gonna take about half of this and we are gonna slice this up for our pork belly burn ends. The other half, we're gonna save probably for a future video or I might just say the heck with it and make some bacon. So, homemade bacon is amazing. Um, Duroc pork belly, I got from our local store. Grab a towel here real quick. So all we're gonna do, let me switch this around. We're gonna cut this into about inch, inch and a half strips, probably closer to inch and a half to be honest with you. Let's see here, my knife needs sharpened obviously. All right, let's set that aside. We're gonna do the rest off camera. Uh, if you guys are wondering about this cutting board, this is from 320 Grit Customs. Beautiful board I won on uh, the Mad Moose and TD show. So uh, I will try to leave a link for them below. It's about the size cube we're looking for. Inch and a half by inch and a half. They are going to shrink up as they cook. So... You know, keep that in mind. But we're just gonna make some pork belly burn ends out of these. Um, uh, let's see, we're gonna get rid of this little end here. Just hang it off. We'll probably throw that on the griddle and have a snack later. So there we go, six uniform pieces square size. We're gonna cut two more off of this let me get that done and we're going to bring you back. Dang, here's what we're going to do. We're going to take just a little bit of oil to spread over these. Get rid of that. Now there'll be plenty of oil in the bottom of your pan. Take your cubes, roll them around on each side. We're going to stack some up here for a second. Make sure you get all sides. We're going to take a little bit of, uh, let me get a towel. <laughs> the things you forget when you're filming. All right, we're going to take and give these a nice coating of our pig shake. And we're gonna come over them with the smoke bomb. Um, the pig shake is a lot more coarse than the smoke bomb, so it's gonna take a little longer. Be careful, the, the uh, smoke bomb will come out quicker. We're gonna finish getting these rolled through the oil, seasoned up, and when we bring you back, we are gonna be putting them on one of the Grillaholics grill mats to put on uh, the pellet cutter. The other mat we're gonna use for our chicken wings. If you saw the previous shots, you know these, like I said, smoke bomb, pig shake, uh, lucky shake on half of the wings and sweet and spicier on the other half. Now I talked to my old boss CJ. I know he's a flat guy. He's not a drumette guy. So we're gonna make sure we go half and half so Mr. Fuss Budget can get his flats in both flavors. Stick around, we're gonna give you a picture of this when it's done, and when we come back to season the wings. All right, we got our grill mat out. Uh, our pork belly burn ends have been seasoned up for about four hours now, uh, along with the chicken. So we're gonna get these put on the mat. The pellet smoker is outside coming up to temp. Uh, these are gonna take quite a bit longer than the wings. So we are gonna get these on first, get it rolling. We'll get you some pictures of that. Bring you back when we put the wings on the other grill mat. Uh, give you a couple shots during uh, the cooking process. We'll come back when we pan these up uh, to braise them and make them tender and uh, 
Then we get to come back for the fun part, the taste test. Pork belly burn ends are on. You can see our grill mat underneath there. Um, we will be putting the top rack back in this. And when we go to braise these in our aluminum pan, because we will reuse this grill mat after we clean it uh, to keep the two different kinds of wings separate. So let's let them get happy in a little smoke. Gang, if you made it this far into the video, thank you very much. You heard me reference earlier the Grillaholic mats, the mesh mats. Um, we're going to be using these quite a bit today. You're going to see other Grillaholic products coming up in the future. I have partnered with them. If you'd like to check out their website, it's grillaholics.com. And use the code DADDYDUTCH for 20% off. So keep an eye out for future Grillaholic products in my videos. I want to give a shout out and a thank you to Devin and Katie at Grillaholics. Thanks for including me in on your venture. Now, let's get back to cooking. Give you a quick shot here. We are one hour in on the smoke setting. We are now going to turn this up to about 250. We're going to let it go about another hour. We're going to see how much more color we get on them, how they're looking. I can see one in the front left. Looks like the Leaning Tower of Pisa, but guess what? It's still going to taste good. So, like I said, bump it up to 250. When we pan them, we're going to put the top rack back in. Take them up to about 275 when we put our wings on. Two hour mark, let's take a peek, huh? Oh, oh yeah. All right, we're gonna get these inside. Close that so it's not so loud. We're gonna get these inside, pan them up, and we'll bring you back. All right, our pork belly burn ends have the color we want. Now, I do have some butter. It's getting washed out there a little bit. There you go, you can see it. A little butter and a little uh, brown sugar right in the bottom. That is going to, along with the rendered fat. Oh, that one's stuck a little. Not bad. Uh, we are going to make our, this will all incorporate to make our braising liquid. So, some of these have a little tug on them to come off the mat, but not bad. I suppose I could have first sprayed it with a little non-stick spray, probably would have helped. So, let me get these in here. We are going to drizzle the top, a little Blues Hog original, cover it with foil. Like I said, we're going to put the top rack back in the pellet cooker where these are going to go. Gonna get this mat cleaned up. We'll bring it back when we put on the wings. Guys, I wanted to show you this real quick. This is the mat that the pork belly burn ends were just on. And I'm not kidding when I say it took me like 15 seconds to get this mesh mat clean. So we're gonna let this air dry and get ready to use it on half the wings. Here are our two mats full of wings. On the left, we have the Lucky Shake. On the right, the Sweet and Spicy. Um, don't know if I mentioned it earlier or not, but I did have these before we seasoned them. Uh, salted, uncovered, on a grate in the fridge overnight. Help promote a little crispy skin. Wings are on. Pork belly burn ends getting happy. As you can see, these two grill mats overlap just a little bit right in the middle. Uh, this is a 600 square inch pellet smoker. If you had something in the 700 range, you probably wouldn't have to worry about them overlapping. Uh, half hour, we're going to come flip and get them finished off, bring it back for a taste test. 25 minutes in, I checked on these wings. Let me get you a little closer. You can see 
see they're getting some real nice color. We're going to start tacking them for temperature here. Uh, using a new InstaRead thermometer we got. Uh, we were told to put it through the paces, so we're going to give it a try. 15 minutes, we're going to start tacking. All right, we pulled off our pork belly burnt ends. I don't see, you know if you can see them nuggets of goodness. But we're going to take our instant read, which, by the way, is from Cooking with CJ. I believe you can get these on his website, guys. Um, I have uh, compared it to my thermal pen. It's within a degree. So let's see how tender these are. Look at that. It's like melted butter. All right. Set that off to the side. We are gonna glaze these. They're going back on the pit for five minutes. We have the Maple Bourbon Rib Glaze by Cosmo, which also was sent to me by CJ. So we're gonna put a little, little coat of this on top. Just give it another layer of flavor. Back in the pit, uncovered, about five minutes. I did temp the, the wings. They are sitting in right now right about the 170 degree range. I want to take them up about another 10, maybe 15 degrees so we get that crispy skin. When we bring you back, food will be on the board. Here you have it, gang. Our football finger food is all done. Now, this doesn't have to be for the big game. We can keep this around NCAA tournaments. Whatever you want, guys. Daytona 500 in a week. I know that's CJ's favorite sport. He loves it when they come to Fontana. So, let me get you up for a close up. I can take a look. And guess what? We're going to try one of these burn ends. I want to know if they're as good as they look. Nice and caramelized on the bottom from sitting in that butter and brown sugar. Got that Cosmo glaze on top. You got the pig shake, you got the smoke bomb. Should be smoky, sweet, touch, touch of heat, but not much. Mmm. <laughs> mm. The big guy is happy. Hope you all have a wonderful week. Uh, next video we got coming up. Something a little different. I think you might like it. So, y'all stay safe, behave, have a great week. See you next time.